Hello my friends. Hi guys. Let's see if you can see something here. Okay. Hi Valerie. Oops. Hi guys. It's Tuesday night painting. Tuesday night over here anyway. Guys, my name is Angela. I am the owner and creative energy from Elfen Helden. I'm a premier retailer for Dixiebel over here in Frankfurt in Germany. So when you join me, just let me know where you're watching from. Hello, Smagotchi. Um, hi, Trevor. Hi, Ronnie. Hi, Yvette. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Um, it is 9 p.m. over here, so it's uh, for me Tuesday night painting wherever you are. I'm wishing you a great morning, good morning, good afternoon, whatever. Uh, thank you for joining me, guys. And uh, tonight we're starting a new project, which is like this, um, yeah, it's like a pretty old bar cart. I've already taped off the, the legs. Hi, Eva. Nebraska, Massachusetts. Hi, Monica. Hi, Anne. That's great. Thank you, guys. Um, before I forget, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. I will try to answer it uh, straight away if I'm not getting to the questions uh, straight away. Hallo, um, Mühne und Bille. Um, I will come back later and um, check those out eventually probably uh, tomorrow because it's uh, maybe too late uh, for me later on but uh, I will answer your questions uh, definitely. Guten Tag Clapton, thank you. <laughs> um, yes, this is like this old bar cart and um, the plan on this piece is going to be um, well, color wise uh, I'm going to use Midnight Sky, I'm going to use um, sawmill gravy and French linen and uh, a little touch of the barn red is going to go on there. So, um, so uh, this is the plan for this piece and it's going to be a bit of like those this layered um, look uh, I've done before also but um, the colors are pretty dark and it's going to have uh, a bit of um, a distressed look and stuff like that but even so um, I like to have the colors like I plan them to be and um, this is the reason I've, I've written in the description but today we are going to boss the piece. The reason, does everybody know what boss is? Boss is, um, hi Dixibel, I didn't see you coming on. Watching from the UK, Magdalena, thank you for joining me. Um, boss stands for blocks, um, odors, stains and stops bleed through. This is um, yeah. This is basically like a, like a stain blocker from Dixie Bell. Uh, it comes in clear and in white, and you basically you use it when you have um, a wooden piece which is a bleeder where you know it's going to be a bleeder. If you have a piece where are some stains on, you know whatever some oil stains or something like that, which might. Um, basically come through your paint. Um, if you have a piece which has like a very strong smell of whatever sort, you know, it's been standing in the in the cow stable somewhere and picked up the smell from the cows or it's from a smoker or yeah, whatever, you know. And also with boss you can um, like basically seal in um, those smells so there's nothing gonna come through. This is what this is for and um, The reason I know that this piece is a bleeder uh, I've obviously cleaned it nicely. That's what you do. Whatever you you start um, You clean the piece nicely before you do anything else to it Hi Marilena. Hi to Italy um, so um, and when I cleaned it, uh, you come to a stage where you've cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and you still keep like getting those reddish 
um, this reddish color coming out of your piece. And this is basically a, a very good sign that uh, this is going to be a bleeder. It has some sort of um, stain on top. It's just like a little bit shiny. I'm not worried about that uh, the paint won't stick on there. It's not shiny enough for that. But um, this might keep the, um, the wood tenants uh, blocked, but uh, I'm not going to take any risks, you know. I, you know, stay, I like to be on the safe side, you know, rather than being sorry at the end. So this is the reason I'm going to boss this piece, you know, as well as this um, finish, as this piece is pretty old, um, the veneer is like cracked at some places and there might come at the end the, the um, high terry, the, the wood tenons through. And wood tenons, you know, there's like woods, like uh, red woods, uh, like cherry, um, there's like pine woods uh, are likely to bleed, oak is very likely to, to bleed. So um, this is basically what uh, boss is for. You know, this is just to be on the safe side. I'm going to use um, clear boss. Um, it comes in white also. So if you know you're painting your piece in white, for example, uh, exactly, Dixieville. Better safe than sorry. Um, if you paint your piece uh, in a light color, whatever, like uh, like some cotton or fluff or buttercream or those soft pink uh, apricot colors, you can use um, the boss in white um, because then the, the lighter colors cover easier. I'm going to use the boss in clear. This is, um, no, it's just like, for me, it's my preference, and as the base color is going to be a little darker anyway, it's going to be layered. That's uh, that's fine for me. And uh, it comes in three sizes, exactly the same like all the paints. It comes in the big jar. This is the 32 ounce. It comes in 16 ounce and in 8 ounce. So <laughs> I'm going for the big jar. It's, it's lasting a long way, you know, like uh, all the... Um, all the products from from this box. So I'm going to open that up, and um, you can see on the bottom there's like uh, like all the products from Dixie Bell. You have to stir it up nicely before you use it, just to make sure. Um, is boss coming out in grey soon, Dixie Bell? I don't know. I would rather have the slick stick in a, in a different color or in, in a, at least in, in clear or something like that. So I've got my stir stick just to stir it up nicely. It's also sealed like the, the paint. Take the seal off. And you can put it on with a brush, you can put it on with, um, with a roller. You can also spray it. Um, Pam from, from Forty Four Marketplace, she's um, she's a big sprayer, so she is uh, spraying it. I'm making a mess again, as per usual. So, but I am stirring it up nicely <laughs> and making a mess at the same time. So this is like, you can see that uh, Dixie Bird is really using all their jars right up to the top. So, mix it up. And uh, any questions to the bus? So, very messy I am. Sorry about that, but I'll clean that up later. And um, I'm going to get up now just to uh, on. hang on, stay with me, just to put that down for a sec. Okay, I'm having, oh, I forgot to say, I'm going to put the transfer on top at the end also. So this is the plan from IOD. Colors to the side. And you apply it basically like, um, yeah, like normal paint. So, 
So guys, when you tune in, just let me know where you're watching from. And if you haven't done it yet, please pop over to my page. Leave me a like there. That will be absolutely great. And I always like to take you on a journey with my pieces. You know, this is uh, so that you can really say, see what um, I'm doing to it. Um, hi, Brenda. Thank you to, to, uh, for joining me. So as I said, this was cleaned nicely with, um, with white lightning. And now I'm going to apply the boss, which is, um, I'm using a dry brush for this. Um, the reason for it is because I don't want to um, corrupt basically the, uh, the mixture of the boss, you know, because it's got like a certain mixture and this is supposed to, to work as a stain blocker. Also, when you've cleaned your piece, make sure it's dried thoroughly. You know, if there's like wet spots and you put the um, the boss on top, uh, the boss will block in um, the humidity which is underneath also. So you can imagine what happens then underneath. So that's uh, that's what we don't want to have. So let it dry and then um, you go on it with so you can apply the boss. Hi Dana, thank you for joining. So, um, I've also done a couple of repairs with the Dixie Mud because there was like some um, pieces chipped. Um, I've taken off the handle at the front here because I've planned on putting this one on here. Um, so, this is the plan for the piece. Okay, let's get going. And you apply it, as I said, just like the, the normal paints. Also, you dip your brush in it, you, you know, pour a little in another container, just a little on there, and then you apply it with the wood grain. And you can see that I am using my Dixie Bell mini brush. It's not that important for this piece because um, this is going to be a little of the distressed look anyway. But um, I like to apply my um, also the slick stick and the boss with, uh, with a good brush because your finish is basically just as good as your base. So this is the reason I'm always using a good brush and I dedicated one brush to the boss and one brush to the slick stick because those products are a little harsh on the, on the brushes. So that's basically the reason I am having a separate brush for those things. So then you go with the wood grain, long brush strokes back and forth. And also the boss is um, just like the, the paints from Dixieville. They are self-leveling, which means the brush strokes is going to, they're going to level themselves out. I'm going to go a little bit here. Guys, I am having a little bit of a stiff neck today. I don't know what I've done. Uh, if I'm late wrong or because it's really warm the last couple of days again. I had the window open in the car and I might have, whatever, something happened to my neck. So it's a little bit sore. I can't really move that, that good. So what projects? Okay, what projects? I'm just getting ready to do uh vintage bamboo nightstand going to use slick stick first the gulf and want to trim with gold that sounds interesting that sounds very nice donna so absolutely so and with boss um you don't always need um two coats what you can do you can put on one coat basically let it dry for about one to two hours, depending um, on room temperature and the uh, humidity of the air where you're at. And you can basically check by putting 
a lighter paint on if it still bleeds. I like to stay, I, you know, I, I always do two coats, you know, I do two coats. I let it dry for about one to two hours, as I said, depending on the um, humidity and stuff like that. And the clear boss goes on a little white and it um, dries clear. And uh, also, you sometimes, um, this is what I read a lot, you know, people complaining that some sort of top coat is, um, is yellowing. Uh, guys, I can tell you this is not the top coat. This is basically the wood tenants uh, coming through on the top and side. Why did you choose Dixie Bell? Why did I choose Dixie Bell? I can tell you that exactly, Donna. I've been following Dixie Bell for about two years uh, over here in, in Europe and we couldn't get to Dixie Bell over here. So I've been using different brands, which are good, you know, all brands have their, have their like um, plus and minuses, you know, there's like other good brands obviously also out there. Um, but when Dixie Bell announced that they're going to go global last year in, it's about a year ago, isn't it? Last year, September, God, time flies. And they said they're gonna go global. And I thought, okay, I'm going to try this paint. So by um, going to try this paint <laughs> and not finding a retailer over here in Germany who is like taking the paint on, you know, I said, all right, you know, I'm going to be a retailer then, I'm going to try it. And I was skeptic, I must say, you know, but on the other side, I thought, you know, all the people using it and all the, the outcomes, you know, that, that, you know, that can't be all like fake or something like that. So I knew it's gotta be good. And um, I was, as every piece I do, I'm so amazed about the quality of this, um, of this paint because it just, it works perfectly. It is, they have like a whole range of products, which whatever you do, you always have a solution by Dixie Bell to help you painting your piece, you know, and if you have just like a normal wood piece, you don't need to do anything to it apart from cleaning it. You know, then you just grab one of those. That's the most difficult choice to choose the right color. You know, they have got 69 um, beautiful colors and to choose a color for your project. This is like the hardest decision you have to make using their products. So, and this is, um, as I said, every time I'm using the paint and the products, they are VOC free. They've got no smell to them whatsoever. You know, even products like um, Slick Stick and Boss, obviously um, you can't do it completely without chemicals. So they do have um, some sort of it uh, in, in, in them. But um, still, you know, they have, they've got no strong smell. You can use them indoors. You may, you know, have to open your windows if you're a little sensitive to the smell with those special products. Definitely not with the paints because they've got no smell to them whatsoever. And um, I'm also, you know, I'm somebody, I'm allergic to a lot of things, you know, a lot of cosmetics and stuff like that. And um, my fingers, you know, my skin, you know, just like cracks up and I can use their products without, you know, any, any trouble. So <laughs> I'm a very good indicator for, for all of you guys using, using their stuff. The coverage is amazing. Um, the, yeah, as I said, all the products are absolutely amazing. They have beautiful colors. You don't have to, to mix your colors, you know, you basically find, should find like a color which, um, which suits you out of all the colors they have. 
They have um, products for sealing. Even you don't need to seal the paints because they do have a built, they do have a built-in sealer. Um, but if you want to be on the safe side, you can seal them. They do have waxes, which are also water-based. You can do your own colored waxes. I haven't I haven't seen any company where the products are so versatile. You know, you have the Dixie Mud. You can you can fill in the holes, you can um, fix some damages in on your project, you can do some ray stenciling with it, you know, so this is, um, <laughs> I can carry on, there's like thousands of reasons, um, thousands of reasons uh, I've chosen Dixieville from all those product lines which are out there. And um, I'm working with Dixieville now for almost a year and I, I absolutely love it. You know, there's uh, another exciting thing to come um, over here in Europe. I think, sorry, my friends in the US, I think we are going to have the, the silk line before you. <laughs> I'll just pay the bill, so I guess they should come in, well, hopefully this week. So this is going to be very exciting also. It's like the ambassadors have been teasing us by now with those uh, uh, lines and then it's basically complete you know you have also a paint line you can use uh, outdoors so this is very exciting so guys um i'm gonna there's only 20 minutes okay um Let's see, but basically I want to have this um, dried and this is going to be, well, going to dry for about one to two hours before I put the second coat on there. And you can see how easily you can apply it. That's basically the whole thing. There's not, uh, not much more um, to do to it. Let's see, and this is a pretty small piece also. I'm thinking if I'm going to put some uh, woody band on there, but uh, people who follow me, they know that um, some of those decisions I'm basically um, making when the, you can see you can put those sides up. So it's, uh, it's just pretty nice also. And um, the bus is very forgiving to apply. There's, um, it's very easy. And as you can see, it goes on white, but it dries clear. Go around those legs. The legs, obviously, um, the perfect choice of a brush would be like a round brush for the legs, but it's uh, a spindly, spindly type, so that I'm not. I'm fine with it for now. If I use paint, I would uh, use a round brush for it. So this is basically it. Do you have any questions to, to boss? Do you know when to use it? Outside wooden chair. Sorry, only just come on. What uh Carrie, what are you using? Oh Carrie, um this is um this is uh, um a bar what do I call it? <laughs> um one of those bar type of things and um it's like a pretty dark wood which is a bleeder, so I'm preparing it for the next step, which is going to be next week. Um where you put some colours on. Um, so I prepared it with uh, Boss because I don't want to take any chances uh, that any of the bleeds through is going to come, um, come through. So, uh, any questions? Let's see, Instagrams, but no questions also. Uh, who's got? Haven't, haven't heard her say yet. Okay, um, BOSS is, um, stands for Blocks, Odors, Stains and Bleed Through. So BOSS is basically a product when you have wood, which is uh, a bleeder, like oak, like, um, yes, it's clear BOSS I use today. 
like oak or um, pine woods and uh, cherry, those uh, type of woods, they do bleed. And also if you have like um, odors from smoking or whatever, cow stables, uh, you name it, or even perfume, you know, if um, some people had like uh, some perfume was running out, firstly, it's oily. And secondly, um, not all perfume smells nice, you know, and some perfume lasts a very long time. So if you want to block that in, you can also use um, uh, Boss for it, which is a great product. So, guys, if there are no more questions, um, I would let you go tonight. I'm not too well myself with my neck, so it, um, every move hurts. So I think this is fine for tonight. Um, okay, guys, again, my name is Angela. I'm the owner of Creative Energy from Elf Non Helden. I thank you so much for joining me. Um, go on the next journey with my next piece, uh, which need a little bit of prep because of its, um, well, history, so to say. And next week, we're going to put some paint on there, and I'm sure it will be much better than health-wise also. Guys, thank you so much. If you haven't done it yet, please pop over to my page, leave me a like there, and um, I'll see you next Tuesday. Guys, thank you so much for joining. Take care. Have a great day, afternoon, um, evening. Bye-bye. Thanks.